Hi guys, thanks again for joining me. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Anne and I give general love readings focusing on divine partners and that includes soulmates, twin flames, karmic connections, past life connections, and all love relationships that you're involved with. Um, I invite you to stay and watch this video from beginning to end. I'm sure there's a message that is meant for you since these messages are coming from the divine and I'm giving them through this video to you. Um, take what resonates with you and just leave what doesn't. Okay, so um, now that we are at the very beginning of Mercury retrograde and it's going to, it's, it's intense. I know there's a lot of energy coming through. I've been feeling it. Um, I, we talked about this last week, wasn't sure exactly how it's going to come in, but because it's um, coming into um, Leo and then slowly it's supposed to go into Cancer, I believe on the 17th. Um, so there's going to be a lot of energy being expressed here or because Leo's are fiery Leo's um, and they, they tend to express a lot and this is basically getting inner truth since it is something that we are um, combined with cancer to send cancer so um, you know I'm not here to tell you what to do but try your best not to let that you know feeling that you're, you're getting with mercury retrograde sometimes it's, it feels like it's irrit irritability I know I get that sometimes um, don't don't let yourself get like lose your temper in other words okay um, just wanted to clear that up. A lot of people have been asking me, so I just wanted to give a little information about it. Okay, so um, Divine Masculine right now is going through a lot of emotional energy. Um, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Okay, and as you can see in this card, Divine Masculines, um, we've been seeing a, 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 quite a bit of energy coming from Divine Masculines as we saw from the previous weeks. There's a transformation going on. Transformation, transforming into something that they want to do in their life. They want to embrace change like we saw before. It's just that there is something that is constantly blocking them and you know now that we're in Mercury retrograde it's it's going to be an interesting ride for Divine Masculines. Not that I'm saying that they're going to have it more harder than divine feminines but there's going to be a little bit of a pull because since it is it is um divine masculines tend to hide or they tend to try to brush it off well inner truth is coming through look to your inner strength as this card is telling us look to your inner strength because there is so much more that's in your heart that it's time to just release it letting it go opening up to something that you feel deeply in your heart. That's what Divine Masculines are starting to hear. They're starting to hear that energy that I can do this, I can do this, but I just have to find it. And then, you, then they think, where can I find it? How do I find it? So then they just sweep it under the rug again. And it just goes on like this. This is that that certain pattern that they've been um, approaching and it's just it's it's going around in circles and especially now with mercury retrograde it's going to feel like that there's a there's a volcano that's inside of all of us sometimes that we want to get all of that energy out but we just seem like we can't do this and that volcano is not that it's meant to erupt but if you don't release and let go and vent out you will be a volcano ready to erupt. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not that it's totally negative what you're feeling. Divine masculines have been getting a lot of, um, a lot of feelings where they want to shine, they want to express, they want to be the person that they are. Especially with this energy that they they are feeling, you're getting it too. It's like we're all getting it. We're all feeling it. Um, there's there's. A lot that's happening with them that they don't understand and like I said it just goes around and I know I'm, I'm going around with this but it's it seems like that's what's happening here and that's the message it's to break the pattern in some type of way you have to look to that inner strength you have so much strength divine masculine you have so much strength inside of you and not because I'm stereotyping it that it's a man a women are just as strong you know we have strength just as much as men we all we are all equal um, it's just that when they tend to run from the emotional energy because they are not looking inside themselves like this card is saying transform transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing you know maybe I didn't read that but I'm reading it now I just noticed that um, very beautiful card because 
they're starting to get it, they're starting to feel it, but they're, they're not letting the strength come through. Uh, challenging times, challenging times for Divine Masculines, and it, it feels like the Divine Masculines this year have been going through a lot of that. They've been purging out, and when I say purging out, it's like they, they want to release so much, they cry, they're emotional, very, very emotional. Forgiveness Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. And it's all about forgiving yourself, guys. It's not like, oh, I have to forgive this person. Yes, you can. I mean, forgiveness is always necessary. In other, in other words, when you forgive others, you're forgiven. You know, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's an energy exchange because we're not perfect. And I'm not saying that you're, 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 you need to forgive someone, like I'm just suggesting it, but the main person to forgive is yourself. You did not do anything wrong. Um, we blame ourselves a lot of times, and Divine Masculine um, has been doing this pretty often, pretty often. And Divine Masculines t seem to put off this, oh, I'm okay, it's the ego, you know? And that ego takes over, it's a harsh ego sometimes that, that, that takes over. Remember we talked about a while back about the negative, the positive ego? Well, this is where sometimes it leans towards the negative, and I'm not talking about they're being mean. They, they have a protective mechanism, and ego automatically will say, oh, I know what I'm talking about, and that's when arguments will happen. Deep replenishment, repeat, rest, be held. And that's, that's about looking inside yourself, looking inside what you need to change, transform. First of all, this card is calling out a lot of forgiveness, and I feel that I, I, I have to de deliver a message to, to someone out there. Forgive yourself. Whatever happened, it wasn't your fault. It really wasn't. Stop looking at what others said to you. Stop looking at what people did back or what they said back to you because it's only hurting you more by reliving it. Yes, it happened, and maybe you're embarrassed of it. Maybe you would like to change it. Maybe you want to make amends. Maybe you want to talk to that person, or maybe you just want to talk to yourself and say, listen, I know what I did, and I'm sorry, and I am deeply sorry, and I know that it's not my fault. Forgive yourself and let it go. That's where the inner strength comes in. You, you can't move forward if you're constantly looking back at that at that pain body or that pain energy that that's holding you back it's holding you back from moving forward replenish rest focus on yourself because you're healing you are healing and you have so much divine masculine beats themselves up over and over and i'm not saying it and literally they take something and they beat themselves up no i'm talking about they hurt themselves by by opening up a past wound, a past regret, past negatives, past insecurities, and, and, and they, they build this wall that they don't want to be with anyone. And maybe you're with someone that you can, you can relate to that. Maybe you're the one, maybe they're the one. Um, like I said, these are messages. So whatever is calling out to you, this is what is necessary for you to take with you. Because forgiving yourself, forgiving you for what you've done or what maybe forgiving them. I mean, it works both ways. When you forgive yourself, you forgive them, even if they didn't say, I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, you look at someone and they, you say, you know what, they didn't say they're sorry. Well, maybe they don't know how to. Um, maybe it's not time for them to say they're sorry, but forgive them anyways, really, because I, I find that when I forgive people that didn't say they're sorry to me, because sometimes we say it's a pride thing, they need to say they're sorry to me. Yes, I agree. But Kick, click your heels and say, I'm, you know, I'm going to just shy away from that person for a while. And, you know, when they're ready, meaning when they're ready, coming to you, putting you forward and saying, look, I didn't mean what I said. You know, that's, that's saying that they're sorry. You know, it's more of like when you need to forgive, you forgive yourself, but you also say, I forgive that person, but I can't be with that person right now. I just can't. I can't, I can't handle the drama. I can't handle the energy because it's just, it's blocking me. It's putting blocks up inside me that I can't, I can't really move in the direction that I want to move in. Um, divine feminines, embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. And she's on a unicorn. 
course, a unicorn. You know how much I love unicorns. It's more about embracing the emotional energy, divine feminine. It's not about understanding it so much because sometimes we don't. We don't understand why we feel the way we feel. Why am I with this person and I don't feel the kind of love that I, that I thought I had with this person. Embrace your own emotions. Maybe because you're not embracing your own emotions, you can't see why you feel so strongly towards this person. Like, in other words, you're with someone, but they seem totally wrong, or they don't seem like the kind of person that you would be with. But though you're 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 in love, you're connected. Why are you connected? But though you don't feel there's like reciprocation or something, embrace your emotions. And like I said, don't try to like uh, analyze your your emotions and judge your emotions. Maybe you're involved in a situation with this. Maybe this person is involved in a situation that they can't be with you right now, or they they just they just are unable, they're unavailable. You know, everybody's situation is different and I'm never like the one to judge and say, oh, it should be this way and this way because you, you'll be surprised on how people get together and how they find each other. You know, not saying about myself so much, but you know, complete different countries and cultures and they, they don't speak the same language. That happens, that's common. You know, it's everybody's situation is like unique. So whatever your situation that you're, whatever the person that you're involved with in your, your situation or their situation, it all results to one thing. Don't erase the emotions and feelings and, and ask yourself, why am I with this person? Why do I feel so strong towards this person? But we can't be together for whatever reason it is, because it's time to awaken, awaken energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. And as you can see, she's awakening, she's, she's rising up. It's like, kind of like what divine masculines are going through the transformation. Interesting how oh, I love the colors. You guys gotta see these colors. I don't know if the colors are close enough. To you. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, awakening for that that energetic upgrade so that you can feel the light maybe it's something that you're not opening your eyes to you're not opening yourself to say well yeah i should feel the love and divine feminines have been going through a lot of releases as well as the divine masculines um but they can't really analyze it too deeply especially now with mercury retrograde don't even go there. You know, if you're going to judge yourself and you're going to constantly like relive like an old um, pattern that, that occurred that you've already released, you've already said uh, goodbye to, you've already said good riddance, I'm done, I'm, you know, over, not a person, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about a situation or coming to terms with inside yourself because that is what's necessary to grow, to develop, to evolve. When we evolve spiritually, we can come together as one. And that, that includes when you're ready, they're not ready, the both of you need to be on the same accord. Sometimes you can get ready, okay? And you think, oh, I'm ready, but they're not ready. And actually, the both of you are not ready. So, you know, it's all a mindset because when the time is right, when you're ready for your divine partner to be in your life, and I'm not talking about, you know, Finding them, look, searching. I'm not talking about them coming back. I'm just talking about being ready for a union, however that is. So everybody's situation is unique. I get a lot of questions as in, was this reading personalized for me? Well, if you got this reading video and it resonated with you, then yes, because these are messages. But if it's something that you know someone else or something that maybe you need to write down, because sometimes the messages come down to you ahead of time and then you'll be like, wait a minute, I think I got this message before I need to listen to it. To it. So write it down. I always say write down, take notes. It's a good idea to do this with all the signs you get, the messages you get, because they come in really fast. And when they do come in, if you don't capture them right away, you may lose it. And when you lose it, you end up saying, gosh, why didn't I take it? Why didn't I take it when it came to me? Well, that's, that's the same way it is with these reading videos, um, or all readings, I should say, because they're all messages. It doesn't have to be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or any social media platform. It is a message. You can even get signs when you're outside. Somebody could come to you, give you a message, automatically you need to take that. What those messages represent, um, 
you have to you have to just write them down and you know they'll come to you or you can get a reading and maybe that will help you to understand them everybody is different so I'm not saying it's time to get a reading so you can understand your messages if that makes sense it's it's what's coming to you I just have to say that um, awakening awakening could be why you're getting the messages that's another message right here that makes more sense when you get when you start to understand things and it doesn't have to be just divine masculine divine feminine it's it's both actually so these these messages are for both sides actually too it's like not just one because they resonate in both ways when you're getting messages you can see a lot of numbers uh, a lot of different signs messages come to you um, it's like it's activating how long this activation process takes I don't really have a time frame on it okay um, it's activating sometimes it can take a day maybe it can take 10 years that's that's a big gap right okay so that's why I can't really say how long messages you know will come through before you actually see what the meaning is I get dreams and my dreams you know are kind of like um, like a series like a soap opera kind of thing it's I call it like a series soap opera because it all comes down to like the same place the same area and it's different parts I have a different realm that I go to and it's kind of like messages come through me come to me through these through these places and when I wake up I tell my husband I write them down and they always mean something seriously I see things happening because I paid attention years ago and I understood them so now I can tune into them a little bit deeper now can everybody do this maybe maybe not but what I'm saying to you is that once you like activate something that's coming to you understanding it it comes through like waves you understand that this is messages that are coming through to me you know like I talked about clearing the fog I like to do a video on how to activate all of this this is something maybe I might do in the, in the future maybe a course or something because everybody is unique and everybody is different and I get a lot of a lot of emails asking me how to do it how to how to enhance or evolve spiritually what do I do first of all stop thinking too much you're, you're using the front brain listen to the inner voice and the inner emotion I hear it like a radio station sometimes not actual voices don't that's that's the beauty part about it it's feelings and and triggers and energies that I get and it's like oh my gosh I'm hearing something I tr I translate them into like a voice so that I can understand it that's the way I give my readings so I just wanted to clarify that because I got a couple of questions um, this past week that somebody wanted to know and I've been getting them over the over the last few months so I hope that cleared up what you were asking me um, I forgot who that person was but you know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm just right now scattered because I'm trying to get into the reading and I'm giving messages at the same time so I have to do separate videos maybe I'll do a live you know like I like I've been, like I've been doing in the past just no time okay anyways back to the reading um, trust your path if you know if wait sorry I don't have my glasses again if you knew you would be supported what would you do okay trust your path divine feminine you're on the right path you're going in the right direction but do you really trust it you know it's like we talk about embracing your emotions um, divine feminines tend to I'm not saying that they do this all the time but it's like they kind of like feel a little hurt inside themselves they, they take on the pain they take on the pain that they end up putting too much pressure on themselves that something has to give something has to happen and they they lose it they don't have what they're supposed to have have faith is what this card is saying trust your faith on this situation now you see that goes together trust your path and have faith when there's a relationship that is a rocky relationship maybe it seems impossible you know and you can't patch a, a relationship that seems to be going into toxic energy it's it's not possible I mean you can have faith yes that it'll change but if you're not focusing on what you feel in your heart maybe you know that this person is going through something like we talked about you know they're not embracing their emotions maybe they're maybe they're not forgiving themselves you know they're going through something you're not the one to fix it they have to fix it remember that 
when someone else is going through whatever and you both are arguing and you both are colliding and it seems like everything was so beautiful at one time and and that's wonderful and and i hope that it gets better like that again but if you're not listening to what your messages are telling you maybe your messages are saying take a step back maybe your messages are saying talk to them gently but remember Mercury retrograde is here. Maybe that sit down, that communication that you're supposed to have with that person is supposed to happen during the retrograde. Go with it very lightly, very gently. Go with it where you can feel that they, they're, they're not that they're right, but more of like easy, gently. I mean, there's no easy way around it. I just feel this is a message and I don't want myself to get in the mix of you know trying to tell you guys what this means because I can only give you the message and you're the one that to interpret it so for me what I'm picking up from it it's more about you trusting and having faith um, if there's a relationship that is rocky have faith don't give up trust your path you're being led here maybe this relationship just seems like it's never going to get better maybe it might maybe it won't I mean if you don't trust what you're being led to, look at the signs. You know, we talked about looking at the signs because awakening is happening. Looking at the signs so that you can see that energy that you're, you're, you're forgiving yourself for whatever happened in the past, but not letting it get to you so that you can't look to your inner strength. And if you don't do this, you're going to lose it. You're going to find yourself not having faith, not having strength, not having any of that. And you're going to be, you know, like your, your spirit is going to be totally like your vibration is going to be down. I shouldn't say your spirit, your vibration. And when your vibration is down, it's never a good thing because you can't see the, the, the clear rainbow at the end, at the, at, the, at the other side of that fog. On the other side of that fog is where you're at right now and you want to get to the other side, to the rainbow, if that makes sense. Like I said, whatever is resonating with you. I mean, I'm feeling like mixed types of messages coming through. So something has to give like what I'm getting right now for somebody out there. Um, so you know what I'm talking about. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna confuse matters more. So like I said, I go from one side to the next side because I'm hearing them like, messages coming through for my guides, messages coming through to give to you. And sometimes I get a little passionate about it because we are in Mercury retrograde, beginning stages, starts on the seventh, today's the sixth. Um, but you know what, it's all about when it comes in, we welcome it, we use it, we use it so that we can um, empower our lives. When we do this, then we live better, we feel better. And you know what? It's the way to be with, with our relationship. When we're like this with ourselves, and that's why I say love yourself, self-care. When we're like this, nothing is going to take us down. If anything, that person that you're looking for is going to want to be with you. Please help me. Please, I need you. Um, let's let's start over again. Let's try again. But if you're all kind of like, I'm not saying you're broken or anything like that, but if you're like all, you know, confused and your mind is not going in a direction that you wanted to because you're not trusting your path, it's hard for two people to come together in unity. Remember that. So if that makes sense to you, if you're if you're together, if you have it together, they have it together. They feel compelled towards you. Why sometimes it takes longer for unions to happen. And I don't mean by unions, like you can be living with that person, but it's just, it's all about the union inside of you before you can find the, the peace inside the relationship you're, you, you're, you're yearning for. Um, everybody is different, like I said. So don't, don't judge your emotions. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, especially now during the retrograde. Um, lots of things might come up, inner truth. Speak it if you have to, but don't let your temper get in the way of it. Remember, the fire of Leo sometimes can influence. I should have said that to someone. I should have brought it out to that person. Why didn't I? Here's my opportunity. Don't do it. If you get to that point, remember what Anne's saying. Try to hold back till after the retrograde, which is on the 31st. And you know what? We have a shadow phase for a few weeks. So try to wait till like, like towards the late part of summer or, or winter, whichever, um, whichever season you're in. Okay. 
So um, lots of messages and I hope that this reading video resonated with you. There was a lot of messages coming through, powerful ones for me. Um, and if you'd like to get your own personalized reading, um, I do offer phone chat email readings and the links are down below in the description area. Um, if you'd like to check out my blog articles and um, I also have other videos. Um, I share this on all my platforms, um, my social media platforms. That's, that's Kisses, by the way. So it's IGTV, Facebook, and YouTube, and Pinterest, and whatever I can get. Come here, Kissy. Kisses wants to say hello. Since she just came over here, come here, baby. Come here. Oh my goodness, this girl is getting big. Yes, right? She just got a little haircut, right, Kissy? <laughs> you guys can check her out on my social media pages, and you guys know her. So if you don't, and um, you know, check out my social media pages, you'll love her, right, Kissy? She's my 13, to, oh, gonna be 13 this year. She's a Scorpio dog. Yeah, November 3rd. <laughs> okay, Kissy, be a good girl. Okay, so anyways, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh gosh, that's just me, right? Okay, um, so, uh, well, I guess, I guess I have nothing else to say. This, I, I know one thing. I know, I know, I know. Thank you guys for all the likes and the shares and the comments and just reaching out to me. It means the world to me. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's a positive energy exchange. It's, it's great being here. I, I really enjoy um, making these video readings, uh, reading videos, I should say, um, and sharing this with you, the messages. It's our, it's our soul journey together and I'm happy to be a part of it. Okay, so if you have any questions, please post them in the comments area. I'd be glad to answer them. I can't do readings in the comments area because it's more personal. So just remember that. Okay, so until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.